got the Tao Kamisi here. The Tao here. Greetings, Dr. Tao here. It's a rainy day today, and um, I've been very busy lately, so my apologies. I'm not doing a video and for some time, but I just wanted to kind of touch on some things as it relates to the medical industry, or should I say the Western medical industry. I just got to thinking a little bit. It's, it's, this is kind of I guess more of a monologue or some things going through my head in this video, but I just, I just kind of find it interesting how um, when, say, a certain patient is admitted to the hospital and um, they're there for, you know, months, months, years and years and their condition stays the same or in many cases it gets worse. and. No one seems to question that, you know. No one seems to say, okay, you know what, what they're doing is, <laughs> it's not working. Whatever they're using, whatever the prescription they're using is not working. But let it be a, a natural doctor. <laughs> let it be someone like me, or, or herbalist, or naturopathic doctor. And um, say I'm working with somebody for a duration of time and their condition gets worse and worse. Trust me. There would be a lot of choice words that were directed towards me if that happened. And I just kind of find that a little bit, you know, a very, very much so hypocritical. Um, that the medical industry is given a lot of passes when it comes to um, dealing with clients and how they don't tend to get better. In many cases, they get worse. And I never see anybody leave the hospital jumping for joy and just being this happy because they're healthier. If you're jumping for joy, you should be happy that you're out the hospital, not because you, you know, because they're doing anything good for you. Because many times they're not really helping your health. You know, the pills that you're taking are carcinogenics, and they're not sustaining the health of the body. In many, in many ways, they are deteriorating, deteriorating the body. And but the blueprint of your body is in the earth. You know, the body wants organic material, not carcinogenic material. And carcinogens is like a longer word for the word cancer, you know, carcinogens. And the word cancer comes from the word crab. Crab means to rob or pull things like the, like the, like the sea creature. And um, the body is being pulled or robbed of oxygen. So basically cancer is when the body is deprived of oxygen. So how do you reverse cancer? How do you stop somebody from you know, being inflicted by cancer? Well, you give the body more oxygen. But the food that you're eating is <laughs> very oxygen deprived. You know, you eat cooked foods and fried foods and all types of things that have nothing to do with life. They're basically food contraband, food that, things that look like, look like food, taste like food, but it's not really food. That's, that's food contraband. So the, these funeral homes, which you call the grocery stores are nothing but embalming shelves full of, you know, <laughs> food contraband, basically. But I just found it interesting how uh, the medical industry gets so many passes when it comes to, you know, killing our family, family members, members and friends and whatnot, and how no one really raises an eye to that and says, oh, it's just part of life, or, you know, their health was deteriorating anyway. And they go to school for all these t all this time to study basically four elements, you know, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. And they spend all this time trying to study this, but they study inorganic material and they study all this type of stuff, and it's uh, it's just not really doing anything. And it's it's harming us more than anything, and it has nothing to do with life. So they study, they spend all their years in school studying sickness. So if you're not sick enough when you come to them, they say, come back to us in a certain amount of time. So basically what they're saying is, I don't recognize a body that's in this type of health. Come back when you're more sick so I can work on you. So they spend all this time sp studying sickness. So when some somebody healthy comes to them, they don't know what to do with it. So you have to come back to them when you're sick enough to be worked on. So they don't study health, they study sickness. So. The school or the um, 
I say basically the psychiatrist studies the sick mind, the church studies the sick spirit, and the doctor studies or fixes, supposedly fixes the sick body. But no one studies health. So who studies health out here? This is what I do. I study natural living, natural life, naturopathic uh, lifestyle. So it's just something to think about, you know. No one gets upset with these doctors for killing people slowly <laughs> with pills. And um, But if someone like an herbalist who studies, you know, natural living or how life should really be, you know, expressed and lived, if we make a mistake, if someone if someone messes up under our guise or under our uh, auspice, then we are pretty much, you know, doomed, thrown in jail or whatever it is, or you know, targeted somehow because what we did did not work or it didn't, you know, fix whatever they said it would. But you know, everyday folks are dying from diseases that they don't even necessarily had before they got admitted to the hospital. That's called iatrogenics. Iatrogenics is a disease given to you by the hospital, not a disease that you already had before you went to the hospital. So you're being, you're being treated for something that you didn't have. There's a statistic that says 55% of the time you're actually being treated for something that you don't even have. So they're giving you pills and all this type of stuff for something you don't already have. And there's something called, uh, I think it's called VAP, V-A-P. And that's basically uh, the ventilator itself, or ventilator associated pneumonia. It's the ventilator itself actually causes pneumonia. Uh, pneumonia. It causes lung and respiratory issues as well. You can look it up. And so people talk about the COVID-19 and it has the res it's a respiratory issue. Well, they're using the ventilator. They say, they, they say they're not being treated or whatever, but they've been using the ventilator and that's causing <laughs> respiratory issues to begin with. So look it up, VAP, that. Uh, and it's, sorry, we didn't even cut off there, but it really is just so much ignorance out here. It just it doesn't really make any sense. So, um, yeah, with that said, I just want to put that out there for people to think about this medical industry out here, so called medical industry. And hospital, the word hospital, hospital comes from the word has to be hospitable, which means to nurse people. Or to, but it's not nursing anybody, it's, you're nursing someone's death, basically. So you have these vertical, these vertical coffins, which you call refrigerators. Your vertical coffin prepares you for your horizontal coffin. So every day you wake up to open up your vertical coffin, which you call a refrigerator, to prepare yourself for a horizontal coffin. So all the food, most people's food in the refrigerator is just dead food in there, which you're trying to preserve, which preserves ignorance in your mind. And this is all these preservatives in them. So, but. Anyway, that was just some uh, things going through my head. I know it's been a while, but yeah, just to stay posted. Uh, the restaurant should be opening up in about three weeks now, so I'm excited about that. And just stay blessed and continue to live healthy. Know it's a lifestyle, not a diet. So I'll touch bases with you guys later. Take care. Peace.